A nationwide shortage of emergency personnel and funding for public safety hitting close to home, locally putting a strain on area departments. But the Vigo County Council trying to find a solution. One proposal involves a three-quarters of a cent increase to the income tax. Taylor Williams spoke with local authorities and joins us with today's top story. Taylor? Dana, it's safe to say no one likes seeing their taxes being raised. But officials say the proposed hike is more than just a simple increase. They say it's becoming life or death for those who need their help the most. Answering emergency calls is becoming more difficult for the Sugar Creek Fire Department. Our current station up at Station 42 in the St. Mary's area, we have no volunteers that live in that area. So we have to have part-time personnel there. Scott made an emotional plea during the most recent Vigo County Council meeting. At that meeting, the council heard public comments about the proposed increase to the local income tax. That funding would pay for emergency services and a new jail. Scott says the funding would not be enough for his department. I cannot rely on volunteer firefighters anymore. I have to have paid firefighters to get out the door, to make that run. I've got to have manpower, and I don't have it right now. Sugar Creek Fire Department makes an average of four runs per day. But often there are only one to four men at the station, which Scott says is not enough. Just down the street, the West Terre Haute Police Department also faces challenges. During the week, an average of two police officers are on duty. And on a typical 12 hour weekend shift, they only have one officer. The chief of police says there's not enough money to fund his department. People don't understand that every year, law enforcement and fire personnel, your emergency services are losing money from the previous year because of the tax caps on property tax. Chief Bark says the department's technology is also becoming outdated. Am I going to have to pick between cars or personnel? Am I going to have to pick between having computers in the cars or having running cars? The changing technology is also affecting Vigo County's 911 dispatch center. Most people are losing or giving up their landline phones. Uh, that money is going down or it's decreasing. So uh, we're needing to do something for to be able to enhance our um, our services that 901 is able to do. So, and, and it's not getting any it's not getting any slower. Um, we just keep increasing year by year. The center currently has 22 dispatchers. They field more than 800 calls a day. And since text to 911 started two years ago, Vigo County's dispatch center has become the sixth busiest in the state. I'll be happy with the 0.1 percent. Yes, as as much as we all like to have more money, I'll, I'm happy with anything that I can get. It's important to note that when it comes to public safety, the county can also use the revenue from the tax to fund drug programs and other forms of public safety. But it all depends on if the county council passes the tax. And then the council will decide how the money is spent. Dana, back to you. All right, thanks so much, Taylor. Now, if you'd like to become a volunteer firefighter or a police officer or even work as a 911 dispatcher, we have links to all those websites on our website, mywallbashvalley.com.